Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 9 of my Revel Lockheed PV-1 Ventura build for Models for Heroes. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. In this episode we're going to begin with sanding back the filling we did with the sprue glue in the previous episode. So without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on with that sanding. we're using a six in one nail buffer. This I got from my better half, she saw it in the local shop and bought me two and they are great. They've got six types of sanding grit on them and you go from one to six. And it's great for getting rid of seams and cleaning up the plastic. So if you can get hold of one of these, do so. They're great for aircraft seams. There we go, that's done for the minute as my arm is starting to ache. Oi, cheap seats, no. Anyway, when we were spraying the internals, I got some overspray on the wheels, so let's get them tidied up. That didn't take long, did it? Now let's look at these bombs and see how the banding came out. job even if I say so myself. Now remember I said in, in an earlier episode that I messed up on the props? Well I looked at them here and just decided to take them completely back to plastic. So here goes. I also noticed that I hadn't done the leading and trailing edges of the props with the seam lines there, so I thought I'd better get them done now.
That's two cleaned up and ready to be primed. Again, props. Now to get back to the bombs, the front ends near the fuses needed to be cleaned up. So let's crack on and get those done. Okay, so that's the fuses painted. I used Arclad's dark aluminium. It seems to be my go-to metallic colour at the moment. Anyway, let's move on to painting the belly gun using the same colour. Anyway, that's the belly gun painted. Now let's test fit these wings. I've been chomping at the bit to do this as it's a bit of a corner and mean swept to me anyway I'm on the home stretch so let's see what the fit's like and what it looks like oh that is a nice fit are we sure this is a revel kit the fit is awesome and it looks great too anyway that's the cleaning up done now to remove some latex from the top turret and let's have a look, see how that's come out. So let's crack on with that. I am not happy with that. So we're gonna have to hairy stick the supports. Here goes, wish me luck, especially with my trimmers. That came out all right, not too shabby, and I'm happy with it. Right, next we're going to glue it straight into place. So, here goes. There we go, one quick test fit, and glue it in place. Next we can crack on with gluing the nose to the front. Glued it the right way around the first time. Result. Anyway, calm down. You've never built anything without a mistake yet, so cool those heels, Jack. Right, now we can crack on with masking up the underside of the wings, ready for a primer. Clean up. Wow, 
one wing down, one wing to go. After much wailing, gnashing of teeth and cutting of foam, both wings are now prepped for their coat of white primer underneath. But before that, let's get the canopy glued in place, then we can get the rear belly gun sorted, so let's crack on and get those done. that's the canopy done. Now gloves on and do the belly. I know I should have put them on before I forgot okay. Again, wow, 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 this kit is awesome. There is absolutely no fettling required on those glazing parts. I'm gobsmacked. What a, what a cracking bloody kit this is. Anyway, after all that handling, I need to redo some of the latex on the clear part. So let's get that done. that's the glazing done and this seems like a good place to end so thank you for watching episode 9 if you want to see what happens in episode 10 please subscribe to my channel help it grow like the video leave a comment and ring my bell remember folks stay safe keep on modeling